is up there everybody, Citrus Aviation here with another video and today we are going to find out what the top 10 best liveries of 2020 are, so let's get started. Coming in at number 10, we have this special livery for the United States Air Force. This is a new livery to show off some of the new carbon composite materials they are using on new or modified F-16s. And this aircraft appears to be painted in a little bit of a scorpion livery, which actually looks pretty cool for the Arizona scorpions, which are quite painful if you get stunned by that hail. At number 9, we have Viva Air Columbia's brand new livery. This is the new livery that they started to use, starting with their new A320 Neos. And I do realize the livery is quite controversial with that teal and bright yellow color, but I personally really like this livery. But I only have it at number 9 because I know a lot of people do not like this livery, but I personally do. So I have it here at number 9. At number 8, we have the new JetBlue tail for the Airbus A220. As you can see, this is a picture of the A220 right here. And you can kind of see the tail section back there, which is very nicely decorated. And I like the kind of wavy of the livery. I think it's supposed to be called the Ribbon's Tail, if I'm correct on that. I'm sure someone will correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. Coming in at number 7, we have another military special livery, and this is not the last one on this list. This one is an awesome special livery here for this United States Navy FA-18E Super Hornet, which stores 166959. This is an awesome Livery, I loved the green and the yellow combined with the gray there. I think that's super awesome and a really nice design for a graphic designer and for it in military livery. Because often, military liveries are meant to be subtle, but sometimes they do special liveries like this one, and this one looks really nice. Speaking of nice liveries, we have an official new livery for the United Kingdom. This is the new livery for Voyager 1 which is the aircraft that transports the current Prime Minister for the United Kingdom. And it has a new livery starting as of 2020. You can see it's a very nice livery here with the flag of the United Kingdom, the Union Jack draped over the tail section and swooping over the aircraft. It looks really nice with the gold United Kingdom tiles and the Royal Air Force insignia there near the rear of the aircraft. This is a really nicely put together livery and it made my list. Coming into the top 5, we have my favorite liveries of the year. So these top 5 liveries are the ones that I really, really, really like. And we're going to start off here with this Qatar Airways FIFA World Cup 2022 livery here. This is really nicely done. Obviously, the Qatar Airlines livery is one that I really like. Plus, that maroon section they put on the aircraft for the FIFA World Cup. It's really nicely done. This is also a really nice picture, so I want to thank the photographer for this image. And also, you can go check out all the photographer's images in the link in the description. I have them all listed. Go check them out. Maybe if you want to use some of the photos for some professional walk, contact them. See if you can request a photo for use. And uh, this is a really nice image right here. Coming in at number 4, we have the new Onipon Airways Flying Hano livery. This is the third one. This will be the orange one here. This aircraft will be delivered as Julia Alpha 383 Alpha, but it currently wears the test registration Foxtrot as Whiskey Whiskey Alpha Lima. Because of the pandemic, the aircraft has still not yet been delivered to All Nippon Airways, despite the fact that this aircraft is actually close to a year old now. However, it's not been delivered, therefore it still wears the test registration and it's still in Toulouse in France. This is though an awesome livery. I love the flying harness with the turtles on the aircraft and I think this orange one is the best looking of all three of them. They got the blue one and the turquoise one last you well, are not last year but two years ago in 2019. This one came out of the paint shop in 2020. Still has not been delivered but it will be a very nice addition to the fleet when it does arrive. Next up we have an epic epic livery. One of my favorite liveries of the year. This one is the 75th anniversary of the 457th Fighter Squadron based at North Fort Worth Alliance Airport. And this one is a really nice livery as you can see with the Texas flag draped over the aircraft. 
and the super epic 75th anniversary titles there on the tail section of the aircraft and you can also see the lower fins of the aircraft also have those awesome graphics on it as well super nicely done here and I really really like this livery I don't usually put military liveries as some of my favorite of the year but this one was really really nicely done and for that reason I had to put it on this list and I had to put it as one of my top liveries because it is so nicely done this is proof positive that you can make a really really epic looking livery on a military aircraft before I unveil the top two liveries I want to show an honorable mention this is an A-10 and this one is in a special D-Day commemoratory livery which is really nicely done and I really like this one as well. I wanted to point it out as an honorable mention because there were 11 liveries I really liked and this is a top 10 list so I decided to put this in the honorable mentions. Really nice job on this livery and a great job on the photo as well. Moving on to the top two liveries, my favorite liveries of the year and number two is probably not a huge surprise for those of you who know me and that I like Delta Airlines. And here we have the Delta Airlines Thank You Livery as one of my top two liveries of the year. This comes in at number two. This livery, as it says on the nose, dedicated to the world's best employees and customers. I can say that's a fact for Delta Airlines, they're a great airline. And this livery is super awesome. And a cool thing about this livery is those thank you titles are actually made up of, I believe it's about 35,000 of the best employees and customers of Delta Airlines and it's on both sides of the aircraft which is super awesome. Really nice job at Delta Airlines to do that and I really look forward to seeing more special lures from Delta Airlines. Coming in at number one you might be really excited to see what it is and it is the Etihad Green Liner Livery. Now Etihad Airlines came in 2019's list as number one with the Madrid livery which was an awesome blue livery and now they're once again at the top of the heap with their green liner livery which it is a green livery as you can see very nicely done I love this color combination and I generally really like the Etihad Airways specials and this is yet another example of an epic special livery this livery is just really really nicely done Etihad Airways does such a fantastic job of all their liveries and so that is why this livery is made to the top and so that is my list what are your favorite liveries of the year comment them down below and with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you for watching have a great rest of your day and god bless you